Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty, you guys. We're in my bathroom. I've never filmed in here before. I don't like the lighting, but we're just gonna roll with it. It's a little bit later at night. I think in the daytime, this might actually work because I have a skylight, but for right now, we are just gonna roll with this and I hope it's not a disaster. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for being here again. And if you're new, I've never filmed in here before. If you're returning, I've also never filmed in here before. I'm a little self-conscious about it. <sighs> Breathe, okay? Okay, but I love all things affordable fashion and beauty and bath and body works. And that is what we are doing today. So if you wanna see me smell some of these for the very first time, some of these I bought in the store and a lot of them I just bought kind of coldly online. So if you want my first impressions and maybe you could jot some of them down for the next sale, um, you know, if they have notes that you like, then stick around and let's go ahead and do it. Okay, you guys, I seriously may delete this and not upload it. But if you're watching it, I guess I decided it was okay. So let's go ahead and get started. We have some soaps. So we have the Island Papaya, and this is Tropical Coconut Fresh Papaya and Sugarcane. Smells very fruity, very summery. This one is the Marsh, oh, this is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone, Marshmallow Fluff Vanilla Bean, and Creamy Caramel. By the way, creamy is a horrible word. Uh, ooh, that smells really delicious, like a tasty dessert. Then we have Bliss Beach. This is ocean breezes, water flowers, and creamy. <laughs> Why is everything creamy? Musk. I just stripped it. I don't know that this is my favorite. This is, this is something my mom would enjoy. She likes very just like soapy natural which i think some natural but that one is not my favorite that is very like you go into i don't know like a a bathroom that's like by the beach and it's kind of like dirty and then like the soap that's just in there that's what that smells like then we have the foaming soap this is bright summer days coconut milk sunny star fruit and warm sands that one smells good it smells Slightly coconut, not very overpowering, and just kind of like a nice musky scent. Okay, I think that's all of the soap. So I'm just gonna reach, I have a big box right here. So we're just gonna go for it. We have the Fresh Getaway. This is, oh, this is a uh, body cream, and I use these body creams all the time. It is one of the only lotions I can use after shaving that does not cause razor burn for me, so they're like holy grails for me. This one actually has hyaluronic acid as well, so it should be ultra nourishing. Uh, let's see, this is not, oh, fragrance notes. Bright yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air. That smells good, it smells really good. I really like that one. It is kind of fresh, a little bit fruity, a little citrusy, but not like too much. That one is really, really nice. Okay, you guys, this is my like holy grail scent. I love this so much. This is the fairy tale. I have, I believe, three of these in here. And I currently have one that I'm using right now, and I think one other backup already. But these, I just love this fragrance so much. It is pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. And I'm not always a vanilla person. I love amber most of the time, but sometimes I don't. It, this is just the right note. It's one that I, I wouldn't mind smelling like it all the time, like in a perfume. It's just, it's very like perfume worthy, if that makes sense. Because a lot of Bath & Body it may smell good as a candle, it smells good as lotion, but it doesn't smell like an actual like high-end perfume. But this one gets away with it. It is my absolute favorite, and I just think the packaging of this was so spot on perfect. All right, then we have your the one. I know that I like this one, but I don't remember the notes. It is white birch, velvety rose, and strawberry nectar. Let's see. Oh yeah. This one actually is pretty strong and does have a very frag like a, a perfume fragrance um, smell to it as well. So this one could get away with, I think, being a perfume, but it may be a little too strong for some, may lean on the old lady side. 
if I'm being honest, but I like it. And I'll almost take any fragrance of the body butter lotions because I go through them so quickly. In the Stars is one of my absolute favorite scents. I love it so much. It's just like pretty and like I feel like I'm a pretty girl whenever I have it. And I love it in the plugins. And it is sandalwood musk, sugared tangelo, and white argar wood. <sighs> it smells so good. I mean, maybe this is my favorite of all time. You know, like, <sighs> I just love it. As a plug-in, I think it's so pretty for like a girl's room, like a room that you walk in and things are pink and white and fluffy. That's what that reminds me of. Then we have Afternoon Sunshine. I know I've never smelt this. So this is one I ordered. Golden Peaches Honey Crisp White Woods. Let's see. It's not super strong. Okay, this smells good. It does have a peachy smell, but not that like orchard peach kind of like kitchen smell. It's like very, just like a warm summer day. And let's see, the woods, I smell a little. Yeah, I like this one. It's not like your, it has apple in it, but it's not that overpowering apple. That one is really nice. Then we have Sunset Glow. This is fresh coconut, I already love it. Coconut everything. Sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, caramelized vanilla. Ew. I know I've had this one before, but I couldn't remember it. Mm, okay, I love this one. This one is that perfect balance of when you have like a marshmallow. I don't always love it to smell marshmallow like food, but when it's marshmallow and it has that kind of elevated, it's probably the, maybe the moonflower and like the coconut mixed in it. It smells really good. It's like beachy, but like floral at the same time. That's a good one. Then we have Sense. Sunshine Mimosa Bright Bubbly Champagne Citrus. I mean, it is, I know this one. It smells exactly what it sounds like. It's citrusy, little champagne-y. I mean, this one's kind of a staple scent as well. Next up, we have Bahamas Passion Fruit Banana Flower. It has passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. I mean, I can think it. I think they got lazy with the name and they're like, let's just name it what the notes are. This one smells so good too. I really, really like this one. This one is, this one reminds me of something, something like on a trip. Maybe it kind of smells like a tropical drink. I mean, I guess if it has pineapple and banana flower and passion fruit, it does. It smells like a tropical, like yummy drink. I should be drinking one right now and doing this at the same time. Um, probably to get me over my insecurity about this lighting in here right now. But moving on, I love this one. I know because I got it in the spray in the store, but they didn't have the lotion. So I got it online. This is the Golden Ocean Pearl. Clearly I love anything oceany that has like coconut to it. I don't always love the ocean breezy things unless it's rounded with something kind of soft and feminine. And that is this, this is bergamot. Favorite note of all time, I think, is bergamot. Vanilla orchid, 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 I can, I can read, uh, and golden amber. So, oh, this one smells so good. I think when you put bergamot, bless you, that was my dog. When you put bergamot and vanilla together and amber, it's just like, it's that like bergamot can kind of have like a, a masculine scent to it is why I like it so much. But when you round it with those like kind of feminine fragrances, then it's a perfect balance. Let's see, we have Honolulu Sun. This is Fresh Island Coconut Pacific Palm Driftwood. I've already been spraying this on me. This is like, it's beach. This is like, yeah, this is like Hawaiian beach smells so good. It kind of like tanning oil stuff. But I like that smell, especially in the summer. I know some people don't, but I love it. Then we have Copper Coconut Sands. This is Fresh Kiss Coconut Soft Orchid. Orchid again? Orchid. Orchid petals. <laughs> Creamy sandalwood. 
So another very beachy smell. I'm gonna try to tell you what the difference is between the two. These are very similar. These two right here, this one's warmer and this one's cooler, I believe. So it's hard to describe how I know that, but it just, it just, when it feels thicker and sunnier, then it's a warmer fragrance. So then I think we have one more. Again, it is the Golden Ocean Pearl, which I already read the body cream of it, but it's the Bergamot. This is my favorite out of those three sprays. So they're all very similar, very beachy smells, but this one's the most elevated. This is another that could be a perfume, I think, and get away with it because it smells more sophisticated. Now we have some candles to smell. This is Eucalypt, Eucalyptus Springs. I love anything eucalyptus. I just, I love these for like the bathroom, even the bedroom, like somewhere where I want it to be serene and like feel like you're in a spa and this is better lighting. This is, this could be my ring light. <laughs> um, but yes, I love that for the bathroom, for the bedroom. And my husband does too. He loves eucalyptus. It reminds us of, we got married in Mexico at LeBlanc in Cancun and they have all this um, essential oil type of diffusers going everywhere and it's very eucalyptus smelling. So what it reminds us of when we got married. This is the Warm Ocean Breeze. Let's see, does it have notes on here? Ocean, sandalwood, warm sage, eucalyptus, zest, coconut. Mmm, that smells good. It's subtle. It's not very overpowering, but it has like a manly scent. It's like a, eucalyptus coconut manly scent, which is actually really nice. Oh my gosh, am I onto something? Do I just need to hang like metal discs all around to get good lighting? It's an idea. Okay, let's see. Then we have Force of Nature. This looks like it's, oh, Champagne Toast. That It just says fortune, Force of Nature because there are dragonflies on it. But this is a classic. Most people have smelled this. Bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine. This is a very girly, fruity, just yummy scent. This one is another classic. This one and like a thousand wishes and the end of the stars. Is that what it's called? Something about the stars. They are just those classic kind of girly scents that I love. This is pink apple punch. I will tell you, this is the one I don't remember if this is the one. I just burned up one that I think was a pink apple punch. And in the jar, you're kind of like, eh. But it made the room smell so good. Even my, it was in my bedroom. And typically anything with like fruit or like baked goods I keep in the kitchen. But I think I was out, so I just put it in my room. And I was surprised how good it smelled burning. So this is crisp apples, sunkissed melon, sugar crystals, but yeah. This one's good. It, it's not too, I remember this. It gets stronger when it's burning and it just smells really, really good. Then we have Pink Shores. This is Candied Island Berries, Soft Dusty Dunes, Lemon Sugar Ocean Sea Mist. Soft Dusty Dunes. Okay, that smells really good. It is very berry heavy. But yeah, wow, I wasn't really sure about, oh, rosy dunes, okay. I smell a hint of the lemon, but it's more berry. But that one's actually, that one's really nice. Okay, yikes, I'm dropping everything. Okay, then we have Rainforest Gardenia. I do know I like this one for the bathroom as well. Same thing for plugins, I like this one. Uh, classic white gardenia, sweet apple water, bamboo, white woods very earthy, not something I would want in the kitchen, in the bedroom, or the main part of the house. This is definitely a bathroom scent, but yeah, it's fresh. Um, it's another one that my mom would like. I don't think I like that one as much as I thought after just smelling it, but again, it has that like kind of crisp bathroom smell. This is, oh, okay, I have learned anything with mahogany, I'm obsessed with. So like I was looking up the other day, perfumes with mahogany and it's mainly a, a men's uh, note in colognes, but 
This mahogany coconut is so sexy. Like, I'm, I like, I want my husband to drown himself in it. It is just, I love it so much. There's another one that's like a mahogany sandalwood or something like that. That is, a, it does something to me, okay? Mahogany, men, if you're watching, I'm sure there's not any of you, but if there is, drown yourself in mahogany. It is. It does something, okay? It does something to the ladies. Next, we have pineapple mango fresh balsam. This is so good because it has that balsam, so it's like that earthy, herby scent that's with a citrusy pineapple and mango. I love it. Love, love, love. And this one could kind of go kitchen or the house since it has that balsam added. Next up, we have Firecracker Pop. So this is the Red Cherry Fresh Citrus Juicy Berry. Um, I know that, oh, this smells so good. My friend Brittany loves this. I know she loves this one and it smells, I like it better as a candle than like the spray. Cause this is very like homey. Like it doesn't smell too sweet. Like it just smells you can sort of smell that berry. I don't know. That just smells really, really good. So that was a special like 4th of July one. Then let's see, we have the plugins Waikiki Beach Coconut. I already have one out. I love this fragrance. Again, anything beachy and coconut I love. So this one is actually really good all throughout the house. It just kind of makes the house smell like a, like a beach house. Then we have, let's see, this is Warm Ocean Breeze. I don't know if I'll be able to smell it through here. Yeah, I can't. And I'm not sure if I like that one or not. Saltwater Breeze. Then we have Endless Weekend. I do know I like this one a lot. I think this one's really strong, which I like for the plugins. And Mahogany Coconut. Why did I not buy like 50 of these? Ugh, it's so good. Okay, let's see. Then for a little accessory, I got this adorable flamingo soap holder. I actually have two of these now. I bought the first one, I think regular price and had a 20% off. So I think I still paid 20 bucks, but this was on sale for I think 12 and it is the cutest. Actually, I'm just thinking this would be really cute for like short little brushes as well. It doesn't have to be a soap holder, but so adorable. And lastly, sorry, I'm making all kinds of noise here. You guys bear with me, but okay, I'm back. We have some lip oil. So I have opened this one. This is caramel dip and wait, did I? Yes, I did open this one. These are so good. It is not like a lip oil, it is very much more like a gloss but it feels so good going on. Does it smell? Let me see. It does, it smells like kind of like vanilla-y, but this color is gorgeous. It actually looks very fall, so pretty. And then I have not worn this one. This one is um, candy pink. And then I also got this little Shea Butter Hand Cream. It's left over from Easter, really cute. I think it's, I think I got this for my daughter because it smells very, yeah, it's called Tutti Fruity. So yeah, it's candy. Yeah. Very sweet. So you guys, that is it. I kind of ran through these fast. I think it's because I'm nervous about this lighting and this setup, but you guys let me know, is this okay? It would be so much better in the daytime. I think it'd be really bright and it might be nice to do my makeup or like skincare videos in here. You guys let me know what you think. Was this a disaster? Was this okay? And that is it, you guys. This was all like so cheap because of the sales. So definitely look out for those semi-annual sales. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.